Hey, yo. E-Kings Fight News back in the building. And guess who showed up on some college basketball? That's right. Deontay Wilder had an impromptu interview with your boy Charles Barkley. And the Joshua question came up. So let's let's see what Deontay Wilder had to say. It's E-King Fight News. We've got more on this. Hey, yo. E-King's Fight News back at it, man. So Deontay Wilder, the bronze bomber, uh, doing some promo work for the Dominic Brazil fight. Honestly, he got caught off guard a bit because Charles Barkley just, just, you know, went right at him and said, you know what, let's cut the bullshit. We could joke around all we want. But what's up with that AJ fight? What's up with that AJ? And, and you know what? This this is the this is the this is the issue here. This is the issue here. Until this fight goes down, both of these guys are going to be talking about each other uh until this fight goes down. And shout out to other words for the beat. Um but you know what? This is what Wilder had to say. He said, according to AJ's team, they said they wanted to fight in 2020. So he going to try and deliver that shit for 2020. Now, you know, you know, I know some bullshit when I hear it, right? Y'all know I know some bullshit when I hear it. And to me, Deontay Wilder, he doesn't have no plans on fighting AJ this year. Based on this impromptu interview alone. Your boy don't have no plans on fighting an Anthony Joshua this year. Um, uh, unless he comes out and issues a formal statement. You know, because Eddie Hearn's talking all that shit. AJ can come out and talk all that shit. But what's Wilder going to say? He turned down his own deal. Whatever it was. Three fight, four fight deal. It seemed like the zone was trying to make the AJ fight happen. That's what it seems like. I don't know what y'all think. But that's what is that that's that's the perception. And I've said this before, I've said it time and time again, perception is reality in this game. In this media bullshit, all that extra shit, man. When when it comes to this boxing news, perception's reality. Just like Lomachenko's perceived as a pound for pound great. Did he lose to an Orlando Salido who's never been on the list? Yeah, he did. But he's perceived to be a pound for pound great. And you're going to have people come out here and talk about Loma Chico being better than Floyd just because of that perception. You see how that works? And, and, and you're also going to have people who, who might be on the extreme saying, Deontay Wilder, this dude's a... This dude's the greatest puncher of all time. I mean, look at his record. He's knocked out, what, 95% of his opponents plus? And maybe he's got a legitimate claim to that. But end of the day, these fights got to happen, man. And when it, when it comes to the media trying to push for these things... Man, they ain't, they ain't doing it like that, man. They really ain't doing it like that. When it comes to the fans trying to push for these things, it seemed like the British fans want this fight. Just just looking at you know what I think you know what this is what I really think it comes down to, because now all of a sudden there's a push on all those AJ fans saying, "Oh, Wilder's ducking the fight." And Wilder doesn't want the fight. He's ducking the fight. But what's what's really the case here? Because because Wilder, to his credit, seemed like he he would have taken whatever was on the table to get that fight in 2018, and after that whole situation, you know, he really uh, left that fight uh, behind, you know, and and once he got once he got that Fury fight, he felt like shit. I have my big pay-per-view fight. Fuck AJ. And honestly, we haven't heard him talk about under, being undisputed either. When's the last time you hear Deontay Wilder talk about being undisputed? 
That's a very good. I mean, what? When's the last time he said one face, one name? I'm gonna have all the belts. Deontay, what was the last time he said that shit? Legitimately. And I, I, I ain't trying to handle it, brother, man. Wilder, Wilder, to me, he wants all the smoke, but, but, I can't sit here and co-sign this shit, man. Because because this is what's fucking up the sport. Point blank and period, E. King Fight News, we got more on this. Now, um, first and foremost, hey, sh- shout out to the T-Street Controversy, man. He, he's got that interview on, on his channel. He's got the interview on his channel. If y'all want to see Deontay Wilder getting caught off guard, getting asked about AJ, and he he, he, asked, he had to f- think on his feet for a moment there and say, you know what, man? They be, you know, he, he had to say, oh, you know, I hear they want to fight in 2020. Meanwhile, Eddie Hurt gets to talk all that shit. And that's the problem, man. The, the problem is the narrative being written right now whether it's coming from Eddie Hearn, whether it's coming from other boxing media, whether it's come from you know the UK, whatnot, is that Wilder's ducking the fight. That that's the narrative. So what do y'all think, man? What do y'all think, Deontay Wilder? It was clear that he was sitting down looking to promote his fight with Dominic Brazil. <coughs> He gets caught off guard, gets asked about AJ, and he says, hey, you know what, man? That fight will eventually happen, you know? No no dates, no no specifics, but that fight will eventually happen. So what do y'all think, man? Man, my throat is killing me right now. It's killing me. But I got an important channel announcement I got to say, so let me get into that real quick. All right. All right. So, hey, man, it is what it is. It, that's what Deontay Wilder had to say, and I can't co-sign it, man. I can't sit here and say, you know what, let's wait till 2020 for the AJ fight, you know? Like, how, how am I supposed to say that shit? I cannot sit here and say, let's 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 all wait for 2020. It's all good. No, fuck that, bull. Fuck that. Fuck that. So, you mean, if you're Deontay Wilder, you're going to sit around and fight Dominic Brazil, then you're going to sit around... And say, hey, let, let me knock out Kowanowski. Okay. Okay, that's that, that's that's a great 2019. When it was supposed to be Tyson Fury rematch. Maybe Anthony Joshua. Um, potential fight. Luis Ortiz rematch. Dillian White's out there. You know. It's, it's time for Wilder to not. I don't want to say step up because he did step up. But it's time for Wilder to make a statement. And maybe this Brazil fight is a catalyst for that. But he clearly doesn't have a plan. Apart from fighting Kowanowski. Once again on Showtime. Like, like is there a pay-per-view fight up for him? You know? Is, is, there, is there another U.S. pay-per-view fight out for him uh, that's not Luis Ortiz? Meanwhile, Luis Ortiz can't get a big fight. Man, Luis Ortiz is like a heavyweight version of Guillermo Rigan. Now, this dude just can't get a big fight. Well, you know what, man? It's fu- the game is fucked, right? The, the point blank, the game is fucked. Point blank. But the other thing I wanted to say is uh, th- around this time last week, around Thursday, I got an email that said, hey, you know what? You, you two go ahead. YouTube fucking me over right now. YouTube is going to take all the ads off my shit. And they, they these hoes, I don't know. I don't know how this all got brought about. But these hoes from YouTube came out here. Wanted to, they decided to review my whole channel. They decided to review my whole channel. And then they decided to demonetize my whole channel that has no strikes that has no fucking community uh, guide guideline strikes. None of that. None of that shit. But they decide to demonetize my whole goddamn channel. And 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 off off of what? Off of what? 
Unbelievable. Cause, um, but yo, if you get one fucking hater that works for YouTube, they're going to they gonna pull some bullshit on you. They really are. So apparently, I, I ain't making a red cent off these videos. I ain't making a red cent off of these videos from now until May. And then after May, they gonna they gonna look at they gonna look at my channel with a microscope again, and they're gonna decide whether I can make money on this shit or not. It's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking absolutely ridiculous. But you know what? I do this shit for the love, man. I do this shit for boxing, and oddly enough, I can still live stream. I can still live stream, and I can still get super chats somehow. They're like, you know what? What, what, what? You just can't have no ads on your shit. Like, r- ridiculous bullshit like that. So, it basically, oh, and, and you know, it, unbelievable, unbelievable. So I, I gotta, I gotta either try and sue these motherfuckers, or get get me a copyright lawyer or some shit, man. I don't know, man. I gotta figure this shit out. Uh, but I, I, I'm gonna write a formal response to them today. And we'll see where it goes from here, man. But you know what? Shout out to all y'all. Shout out to all y'all that, that tune in, man. Much love, much appreciation. Um, if y'all want to donate to the channel, I'll put a link in the description box. It is much appreciated. You know, I don't make that much off of this ad. So I, the ad says is, is just like some little bonus side money. You know, help me get a fucking oil change every fucking month. Like, yo, what the fuck, man? It is what it is. It is what it is. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. T King Fight News. And we're gone, man. Peace. And H. He said Charles Barkley. This dude, Charles Barkley, told Wilder, hey, when's this AJ fight going down? Your boy wasn't expecting that, man. I tell you what, he got caught off guard. He was not expecting that. I'll tell you that much. But hey, y'all know what it is, man. E-King Fight News. Signing out. Peace.